Welcome to a new Bricks Forge release video and I'm happy to show you some highlights of the new version 098. The big star is the new email designer. This will be a great tool to create unique templates for all your emails having a lot of flexibility. Not only in design, but also when talking about conditional logic. When talking about creating your entire Bricks email content inside the email designer using the field variables. When talking about Twix support to create also more complex logic and much more. This is the way you create a template. Step 1. Create a template. Now you can start designing using the widgets on the left side and with the possibility to create global styles for different types of content, like headlines or text. You can also use different types of template variables, for example to output user information or even user input of form fields. Step 2. Assign conditions to your template. For example, you could create one template with the all emails condition and another template with the more specific one. The all emails condition will be the fallback then. In my example, I've chosen the condition for a single bricks form using a form field ID to return the name of the user. It's so fun to design emails with the new email designer. Let's talk about GSAP. The GSAP timeline panel has got new trigger possibilities. With the new triggers click and hover, you can create very easily click and hover based animations with automatic reverse animations depending on your needs. For example, you could add a secondary click to the same element which is playing the animation reversed. This new functionality will make things easier. Cloudflare turnstile has been added to ProForms. Now you can include this amazing way to protect your forms even without user interaction with just a few clicks. I've tried and yeah, I'm really impressed about this solution. When working with events, you can now use a large set of variables which can be used for your event actions or also inside conditions. These helpers will output dynamic event or window related data. And this data can be used inside all event actions fields. This will extend the possibilities to the next level. And this was just a small preview of the new things and improvements of this version. Please visit the changelog to get a full overview. And it's really worth it to check out the documentation. The new features can already be found there. Okay, I'm out. I wish you a lot of fun with the new possibilities of Bricksforge with the new version 098. See you in the next video. Bye bye.